Hello, welcome to another Houdini tutorial. So in this video, we are going to see how to mix the fluids and its colors. So basically in this tutorial, we are going to take the two different fluids and we will apply the different colors for each fluid. And also we'll see how to blend the colors. So first I will take a geometry and now I will go inside and just I will take the source object. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to take a sphere and now I'll convert this sphere into like polygon. So here in the polygon primitive, we need to select this polygon and just I will increase the number of frequency. So just I will move in the Y direction. So I will select this, just I will move in the Y direction and also we'll take an another sphere. So just I will make a copy. So as I said, like we need to create the two fluids. So just I will copy and paste. And just I will move it in this direction and also I will just turn on the template for this thing and just decrease the size and just we'll take the collision object so in this case I'm going to take a sphere and here also just in case if you want you can convert into polygons and just I will increase the number of frequency and just like I will scale it so we can see it in the top view so just I will go to the perspective and just I will go to the top view here and also just I will uh, decrease the distance uh, so first I will move this here so let's say we have given to five so I will just give the center to two or something so that exactly it will be on the ground and I will just move these two spheres a little bit uh, to the y direction so select this and like select this so that's fine so the distance is okay so it's up to you like uh, for this tutorial this is fine so what the thing is just we need to uh, like animate one of the spheres so just i will animate this small sphere so that the liquid will fall from one direction to another direction so what i will do is just i will select this thing and we need to give the animation for this center so in order to give the animation so first i will go to the top view here and now just i will move to this direction and i will turn on the template for this sphere so I will give the animation for this center by using Alt left click onto this thing. So it will create the keyframes and just you can decide. Let's I will go up to like uh, 40 frames or something. Just I will move to this direction. And again, Alt left click and after like 80 frames or something, just I will move to like to the center or something. So it's up to you. It depends on your uh, requirements. So so alt left click again so we got this animation and make sure just when we play it will play a little bit fast so we need to enable this real time so now we will see so we got this animation so by using this we will uh, create the fluids and just will mix the fluids now so now we need to create the fluids so we need to select this sphere and we need to create a node called points from volume so select this and select so here what i will do is just i will increase the point separation to 0 0.08 or something it depends on your system requirement you can increase the number of points means like you can decrease the value of this thing so that it will take more time to render and simulate so in this case just i'm going to give like 0 0.08 and so i have to give the same thing so Control c Control v and this i will connect here so next what the thing is just we need to give the color for these two spheres uh, so just i will enable this and now we need to give the color uh, so for that i will take a node call like color so select this and let's i will give the color to like red and for this you can copy and paste and just connect here and for this i can take to like a uh, green or something so and if you enable now you can see we got this red and green color and also we need to create the density for these two fluids so for that uh I will take a node called attribute create so select this and what i will do is just i will select this attribute create and here i will give the name to like density so after that just in here we can go down and you can give the value like let's i will give the value to like 500 or something and same thing like i will copy and paste so here just i will give more density for this thing so just in case i will give to like 700 or something so there need to be like some difference between these two fluids and finally we need to match these things and after this just i will give the null node so that we can browse in like a dot network and we can give the name like fluid out or something so it's up to you so now what the thing is we need to create the simulation for this thing so just we'll take an top network so select this and just we need to go inside and here uh, we need to create a flip object so select this flip object and also we need to take a flip solver and also like we need to take a gravity 
So select this gravity. So now I will connect this flip object and also we'll connect this to gravity and to the out here. And now defaultly it has been created one cube. So what the thing is in the flip object, just we need to remove this thing. Uh, the group is, is been created defaultly. So we don't need this. And now what the thing is we need to uh, create the source like means like we need to generate the particles from these spheres. So what we need to do is like we can go out and we can copy this null. So select this copy and go inside. And here we need to take a node called volume source. So select this. And we need to connect this to this flip solver here. And here in the volume source, we need to paste that null which we created. And also after selecting this volume source here, you can see there is an option like initialize. So here we need to select the source flip. So if you zoom out and also like still we are not able to see the sphere. Uh, so what we need to do is in the volume. So if you go to the particles, we need to remove the group here. So select this and now we got this thing. And also if you want to like uh, decrease the size of this box, uh, we can select this uh, flip solver. And here you can see there is an option like volume motion and just let's have a give the value to like 10, 15 and 10. And make sure the two spheres has to be inside this uh, box here so that it will create a simulation. And also still we are not able to see properly. So like if you go to the flip object and if you go to the guides option and the particles, so just we'll select this visualization to like uh, particles so that we can able to see the particles properly. And also here the visualization type, I will uh, give it to none so that we can able to see the original color. So now we'll see this, how it is going to play. Uh, so just so. So we got this thing, but uh, if you want, you can increase the particle separation. So means like, see if I go back and now here we have given this like 0 0.08. What I will do is just, I will copy this parameter and like I will go into the top network and here in the flip object, here you can see the particle separation is 0 0.1. So we need to paste the parameters like paste related reference. Uh, so what it will do is just it will maintain the same value so now we'll get more thickness and now what the thing is when we copy these parameters and paste into this so whenever we make some changes into this point separation here in the like point from volume so it will be applied to inside this top network to the flip object here and also if you want more like uh, we can give the more value like in the point volume so if you select uh, we can give to like 0 0.0 eight or something so that it will increase more so it depends on your system performance you can increase and decrease this thing uh, so if you go now so again we will simulate this thing so now it is going to be a little bit slow because as we have increased the number of particles and also we need to create the collision objects uh, so what we have created like in the outside we have created this collision object so we need to bring into this uh, top network so for that what i will do is just we'll take a ground plane and also the collision object. So first we'll take a edge node. So select this and just I will connect here. And also like uh, I will take the ground plane. And I will connect this to like match. So in the match, I will select uh, the relationship to like mutual. So what the thing is, whenever we move this either left or right, still this will be the collision object here. So, or else what the thing is, just we need to swap this thing so that it will come to the left. So the left object will be the collision object. And also we need to create, uh, we need to bring that uh, sphere into drop network. So for that, again, I will take another match and I will connect here. And I will go to the first frame. So now you can see the ground plane. And now what the thing is, just I will take a static uh, object so that we can browse that model. So I will connect it. And now he, for this mesh, I will just select this to mutual or else you can swap this thing. So now what the thing is, just we need to bring that object into this static object. Uh, so for that, what we'll do is just we'll create a null for this thing. So just we'll create a null node. And just we'll name it as like a collision. And I will copy this thing. So we can select this, we can copy and just we'll come to this drop network. And here in the static static object, so in the soft path, we can press control V. So now we got this object here. 
And also we need to check the proper collision, whether it has been applied or not. So when we select the static object, if you come to this collision and here you can enable this uh, collision guide and also like uh, in the display geometry, just I will turn it off. So this is a collision guide. Sometimes it depends on the object. You will get some sort of holes onto this collision. So the fluid will not be collided in dirt areas and it will go inside the sphere. So if you want to make a proper collision, make sure we need to increase the value of this uniform division. So for example, like just I will give uh, like 50. So that's fine. And still, if we are not able to cover the holes in case, like we can increase the number of value here. So just I will disable the collision and also I will enable this display geometry. So now we'll see this thing, uh, like just we will play this. And here you can see we got the simulation, but uh, it doesn't look like a paint. Means like uh, we want to make the fluids like a paint kind of simulation. So just we need to increase the viscosity and also the other sphere, we have the less particle separation. So if I go back, so here also we need to increase to like uh, 0 0.08 uh, or something. And just we'll go to first frame. So we'll go into like dot network and we need to increase the viscosity for this thing. So in order to increase the viscosity, we will need to select this flip object. We need to come to this physical tab and here in the viscosity, we need to give the value to like 10. And also in the flip solver, we need to go to this viscosity and make sure we need to enable this viscosity. And also we need to enable this viscosity by, by attribute here. And now we'll see how it is going to work. Uh, so just like I will click on this play. So here we can see we got this nice simulation, but the thing is the colors are not mixing properly. And also like if you want to see it properly first, like temporarily I will change the color of this thing to like a black and white so that we can able to see whether the colors are mixing properly or not. But still here you can see the colors are not mixing. So we need to transfer the attributes so that uh, the both colors will be mixed and it will form the different color here. So first of all, I will change the color to like black and white temporarily. And then the final output, we just we can change it to like uh, the color which you want. So just I will go back. So here uh, for timing, just I will give the value to like white. So before that, what I will do is just I will go to the first frame. And now you can select this color. And here I will give the value to like white. And just here I will give the color to black. So just we'll see, uh, but before uh, just I will uh, give the notes like uh, how to transfer the attributes and literally directly we can see how it is going to blend properly here. So first we need to take a like a SOP solver and multi solver. So just like I will take a SOP solver. And also I will take a multi solver. And what we need to do is just we need to connect this uh, multi solver here. So just I will move this flip solver to little bit up. And what I will do is just I will connect this multi solver here. So I will connect this flip object to this multi solver. And just I will connect this flip solver to here. And also I will connect this soft solver to here. And just we need to take the connection uh, from this thing. So just we need to take the connection. So now we need to transfer the attribute. So just we'll go inside this soft solver. And now we need to take a node called attribute transfer. So I will take attribute transfer here and just I will connect this to here, connect this to here, and I will connect this to here. So we need to connect this both of them to this attribute transfer. So what we need to transfer uh, that we need to select by using this attribute transfer. And here in the points, we need to select this color and also we need to select the density. And just we can remove this primitive and in the conditions just i will give the max sample to like uh, 50 or something and here in the distance threshold i will give the value to like 0 0.1 uh, sorry the max sample count just i will give value to like uh, five that's fine up to this and now we'll see the output just we'll go back and now we'll click on this play So now here you can see uh, the both the colors has been mixed. So whenever the black and white has been mixed, so you're getting this uh, kind of gray color. So, but uh, still, we, still we are not able to see here. You can see uh, we got this nice uh, gray color. So that means like the attributes has been transferred to each other here. 
So now we need to convert into like mesh. Uh, so what we need to do is just we'll go back. Uh, so we will take a dop import field. So select this and we'll click this. And what the thing is, we need to import that uh, total simulation into this top import field. So here in the top import field, we need to drag this top network to this top net. And also here we need to import the node. Uh, so what we'll do is just we'll go inside and we'll select this flip object name like control C. And just I will go back and here in the top import field, just uh, we need to paste this thing. So now what the thing is, we need to convert only the fluid into the mesh. Uh, so for that thing, what we'll do is in the DOP import, we need to create the separate uh, layer for this thing. So here we can say fields to import. So we can click on this add and we need to convert only the flip object. That means like the fluid which has been created. So before clicking on this play, so I will just uh, change the color of this thing so that directly will simulate without any time waste. So select this color and I will change back to like red. And also I will change this color to like uh, green. So after converting into like red and green, we need to convert this complete into the mesh. Uh, so what we'll do is just we'll take a node called particle uh, fluid surface. So just we'll select this and we'll connect and we will enable this thing. So see now it has been converted into mesh and here in the particle separation, we'll give the same value. So let's say for example, just I will copy this parameter, right click, copy parameter just i will paste onto this thing so select this particle separation paste relative reference and also we can enable the smooth uh, so we can select this we can go to the filtering and enable the smooth here so we need to change the color to uh, so we can select attribute transfer so select this and we need to connect here and we need to connect this one to this point here. So if we enable, now we got this color. And what we want, we want only the color attribute. So select this in the points, we need to select this color and just we will disable. And also in the conditions, like uh, we will give the max count 250. So first we will simulate this thing, click on display. And here you can see now we got this nice mix of this green and red color, but still see it doesn't look properly. We got this uh, like patchy kind of thing. So now whenever we select this attribute transfer here, we need to increase the max sample count to like uh, 50 or something. So see now we got this nice blend over this thing. So in this way we can transfer these attributes to one color to another color and also the density. And the remaining other values, uh, let it be like a default. So, and also we, if you want to see the object, the collision object, uh, so like we can bring it down to here. So we'll take a match and we will connect this collision and this to here. And just we got this uh, sphere. And now what the thing is, we can give the materials and we can render. So let me render in mantra. So we can go to the render view and just we can click on this render. So here we got this nice uh, like mixed color render. And now if you want to render in Karma, so you can watch my previous videos. Just I will put the link in the description. So just I have in that video, I explained detail how to like give the materials and how to render in Karma. So that's it for this tutorial. Like see you in the next video.